there was the guy waiting for him, and he shot him, and it didn't even do anything to the guy. And uh, the guy went, <laughs> and I rolled an impale, and rolled like 12 points of damage, and just, shit. Boom. And the other guy was in the, back in the hotel room, and he's waiting, waiting, he peeks out, and sees Lazinski laying at the top of the stairs. He can only see, like, the top of his head. And he runs down there to him, and that's all that's there at the top of the stairs is a head, and a, a trail of Dang blood going down the steps. And he runs down the steps, and he looks up, and he sees the trail goes around, and then up the side of the, straight up the side of the building, <laughs> and feet are sticking out, and he goes, Poof! and he goes, oh, I, be- I recognize those shoes. <laughs> and uh, it was Lizenzi, the guy dragged the corpse up to the top and left him there. Yeah. So it's, there's just so have two like players that, that day? Yeah, that's all. I think lost at that time. So, Mr. Uh, Crunch had to do it by uh, himself, trying to rest the way. Well, apparently that made... Did, okay. you, did you let the other guy play McNary? 26 weeks. That's what that what? Did you let the other guy play McNary? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he had a... His original character had a shotgun, but he didn't have him with him. McNary had a shotgun that had been established in the game earlier. So I was like, play McNary, you got like 50% chance of anything that you want to do, basically, mm-hmm. if it's not too hard. He had 50% of the shotgun. Boom, shot the dagger out of the guy's hand because he was immune to bullets. I really stressed that throughout the game <laughs> that he could not yeah, be hurt by bullets. Um, Doc good. Smith said it, he was all shot up and just, nothing hurt him. And the guy shot him. Uh, he saw him earlier on when he climbed out on the, the he climbed out on like the, the roof of the porch to keep watch. And he saw the dude looking at him like, and the guy turns and runs away. And he's like, "Well, can I shoot him before he goes?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." He takes a shot and makes it. Guy doesn't even flinch. Just jumps off the roof. And it's like, I, I really push that this guy cannot be hurt by bullets. Now, he would have he had a gun in his hand. He would have been able to shoot him. So, um... Didn't even slow him down? Like, like... Nope. Didn't even... Didn't even <laughs> I, I gave him a strength check to see if uh, a close-up shot would knock him down the stairs. Okay. That's all. When he first shot him. And he made the check. So he just went... <laughs> Yeah. And the head goes blah, 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 right off of him. Um, I didn't even tell him what happened to him. I was just like, twelve. Yeah. He Patrick did a great job. He rolled up a he rolled up a federal marshal for his next character. So um, oh, oh, oh. yeah, that one ended with uh, him going and um, meeting some really creepy people at the haunted house by himself, and then saying, "Yeah, I'd like to look in the basement because they've been down in the basement dumping cement because Crankshaft owns the house and uh, uh, he found a like a." Trapped door in the bottom and went down to this weird area and he's like, oh well, let's buy cement and just <laughs> seal it right up. And I'm like, all right, that's what we do. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to check the cement. And the late the girl who was there let him in the basement. He starts going down the steps and he hears the door close behind him and lock. And then he hears the click clop of what sounds like footsteps, but they sound like horses' footsteps. There's a horse standing on its hind legs. And that's where we're the session. So we'll oh, see what happens to him next time. So wait, he, he kind of like cemented into a basement? No, no, no. The cement was done earlier. He was checking on it. Okay. And the girl that was at the house, uh, one of the... one of the Was that the town we just left? That was a Dodge City. There's still a Dodge City. <laughs> there are clues that will lead them potentially into this main campaign. Oh, nice. But I don't know if we're going to be able to like mix players, if that's going to be possible with schedule. So right. we're going to see what happens. All right, sorry. That was a, all we can do is what we can do. All right, uh, you spend the night there. So on the 16th, you, uh, what are you going to do? I'm going straight north. Okay, I'm heading north. I'm all guessing right. it's Ritter. We um, can make it to Ritter if we hook it. Probably, let's see. Uh, so is John still playing? No, John's too busy. Gotcha. Uh, okay, you head perfect. north and you come across a trail... And you actually spot coming on this little trail. Um, well, there's a there's a there's a medicine wagon. Uh, reminds you of Stolois, except it's not painted like Stolois. It has a black roof. Uh, there's crosses on the side and like these painted on faux stained glass windows. Um, the man driving it is wearing all black. He's got a wide brimmed black hat and a beard and some glasses. You can plainly see the cross hanging from his uh, from his, and and the white of his. Uh, Priests or ministers' shirt. Uh, a couple of a uh, couple of horses are pulling, and you're coming from the south. As he apparently is heading west on this trail. Okay. Um, there you go. I don't know if you want to stop and talk to him. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to roll. Okay. Show him the bed. Uh, the side says um, Reverend Jasper Ornery, mm-hmm. minister, mm-hmm. and he says, "Whoa, well." <laughs> Good afternoon to you, my brothers. How 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 has God blessed you this day? 
Oh, he blesses us every day. Huh? Indeed, indeed. He blesses us with your presence. There he is. Anybody wants to look at his picture? <laughs> it's late morning when you. Uh, yeah, it's late morning when you. Meet you've, only, you've only traveled four or five miles from this little cell. Like so. I'm holding it the right way. <laughs> holding it upside down. <laughs> no sideways. Oh, you better. Um, ah, a man of the law. Yes, sir. Men of the law, of course, always granted a place in heaven. If they believe, and if they are true to our Lord and Savior. Otherwise, they are going to hell. <laughs> oh, I believe. I've just seen a couple of things that make me question. Don't let it deter you. It is Satan. Satan is trying to we make you waver in the path of justice and right. And light. The light will find you. The light will find Satan. you. Satan. <laughs> He gives him kind of a strange look. I hope we'll give him a strange look. Yeah, I, I do believe it. He just listens to this conversation. Satan. Satan related as well. Yeah, the man wearing all black. Yeah, he's Satan. all black. Face is all ripped open. Gun on each corner. Oh, sweating like a bitch. Because it is summer in the Dakotas and you're wearing a 50 pound fucking heavy ass bulletproof vest. Straight up three inches of laser. Yeah, that's the only way he feels anymore. <laughs> We've been looking for a gypsy wagon, and obviously this is not it, but I'm wondering if on your path you may have seen someone. Ah, hmm. gypsies are generally pagans. But I have not, have not seen any gypsies. I'm on my way to a small town. He points down the path. You can't see anything on the plains yet. Um, it's probably at least... You're on rolling plains. You've not seen more than four trees in the last... Since you left this settlement hours ago. Uh, but they're rolling planes, so uh, you can only see a certain amount of distance. I'm on my path to a, a small settlement. That direction, according to what I've heard, you bring them the word of the Lord, you see. They don't have a church, I understand. So I'm, I'm here to help these poor, poor people Good. find their way to heaven. Preacher, they don't have a church out there because you're heading towards the border where the Indians are. Oh, I understand, Pastor, Pastor Missouri. There is indeed the savages. They too shall find their way to God someday. But I understand that on this side, just a few miles, a uh, few miles ahead, I think, I, I, it's hard to judge, of course, that there is a settlement, a small settlement, uh, in that direction. I, I don't see it yet, but I have faith. And there is a trail, so it must lead somewhere. God will see me through. He always does. Well, as a God-fearing man, I'm sure you wouldn't mind me checking your wagon, just for stowaways or anything of that nature. Just gotta leave every stone unturned. I would not, sir. I would not mind at all. And as a God-fearing man, I'm sure you would be willing to give a little of yourself from your pocket in order to help a minister in need of of sustenance. Okay. Think on that for a little bit just because I know what he's doing. But. Can I use a psychology on this guy? Yeah, sure. What do you want to know? I mean, I don't think he's a God fearing man. Yeah, go for it. That is all ruse. You can always use psychology. 81. Is that less than your psychology? Uh, okay. 67. So, no. 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 Um, you, you're man. not able to read this guy. Either way. Either one way or the other. I'll give him $5. Okay. You are more than kind, sir. May God bless you and keep you. On your way, on your seek, search for justice. He climbs down uh, out of the front, and he walks around to the back, and he opens uh, opens the back up, and he says, "You may search to your heart's content; you will find nothing but the love of the Lord." I'll have I'll have Jack West help me search. <laughs> yeah, he, he, so he can just stay where he's There's going. like a there's like a bunk. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, he's got a bunch of hymnals in there. There's some supplies. There's some food and stuff. Obviously, this guy's been traveling cross country. Um, tins and preserves. Uh, there's nothing fresh. No fresh food in there. Um, nothing strikes you as suspicious. There's no body in here. Um, the windows are fake. They're just painted on the sides. But it looks like um, it looks like the thing can can come down. You know, the side can come down to make a little platform. There's some uh, there's some like uh, pulleys up at the top. It can come down make a very simple platform. Um, there's several uh, really crude. Uh, no, no, he's got several benches in there piled up as well. Um, so he has kind of a makeshift church in his medicine wagon where he can put the benches out. There's a tent all bundled up. There's a really it, 
it's a big fucking bundle. Um, uh, and tent poles and that kind of stuff. He's probably got like a good sized tent, probably 30 feet across that he can set up to make his little thing. It, it takes up most of the wagon. I mean, there's not much room in the back here. Um, you don't spot anything suspicious. Um, oh, make me spot him. I'll give you spot him. Oh, oh, no, I'll give you spot him. <laughs> Dead body, middle of the floor. <laughs> How do you miss that? Oh, oh God, I don't make Say Yori in real life. Well, I didn't see anything. Yeah. What's that corpse, Yori? <laughs> oh, that's a corpse? I thought it was oh, a corpse. Oh, the rug. <laughs> Heart is half, right? Heart is half. Yeah. It's Did you make yours? It's a regular one. No, I blew an 85. Okay, so um, so Jack West, you're looking... Uh, you check out the bed. Is there anything suspicious in the bed? In the bed? Yeah, it's, not, it's a cheap <laughs> straw tick. It's not very comfortable. Um, you keep you. How about you focus on this the big bundle of the tent? That's what I was thinking. So you're like trying like, to trying to unravel parts of it, and it's like there's gotta be something here. Up. Did you make yours, Kyle? Yeah. Uh, the one thing you notice when you open up the little doors that lead out onto a seat, back underneath the seat, there's a pistol sitting where he could easily get to it from the seat. Where he but he didn't. So. No, no, no. But it's but it's you didn't notice it before, but it's it's obviously right there. Um, so there you go. That's the only thing out of place that you do notice. Um, is he has a, he's a minister with a gun. Uh, oh, there's several Bibles in there as well. Um, um, not many. There's like two Bibles, and then there's a bunch of hymnals. Um, shit. I don't want to statue this guy. I'm thinking if I should get them uh, some kind of musical instrument. What the hell's a hurdy gurdy? I like the name Ooh. of it, but I don't uh, know. Hurdy gurdy, it it's a. Is that an accordion? No, it's kind of like it. Similar pr- process of like constant playing. You turn a thing. Gurdy. And you oh. press keys to like push down oh. the strings. That's good. Yeah, he's got a hurdy gurdy. There's a hurdy gurdy back there. It's hanging on the wall. Yeah, so you go know, like this, and you can line. just do this. Yeah. So you can sing at the same time, that kind of thing. Yeah, there's a hurdy gurdy hanging on the wall. I'm adding hurdy gurdy. I like no. that. <laughs> yeah, so it's he's almost like the pictures I've got. It looks like a violin, almost like a massive, weird shaped violin with keys. With um. Does it have keys? It has keys. I think they're on the back, the bottom side. Okay. So that you can do counter oh, pressure. Thing is fucking oh. Four thousand dollar hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdies are expensive. Okay. They have precision like. So that's probably his one thing chain. that he has. They're not. They're not expensive back then. Oh, but like nowadays, right. like. Cause, okay, because you have to have a name. Yeah. It's, so he's got a hurdy gurdy. So not there's, that's probably what he uses for the hymnals. Actually, you don't find anything in the the mess of of the <laughs> tent. You kind of shove it back as best you can. That's taking up most of the room. So there you go. He just stands at the back while you guys are looking. He doesn't say or do anything. Everything looks kosher to me. How about you, Jack West? Start closing the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, sir. I'm a man of God. A man of God. I'm sweating this place. Do what? <laughs> yeah, you're sweating all over the place. Well, I hope that $5 helps you out. But this $5 is a godsend and a gift, and I thank you, Marshall. I just don't feel like we've done enough. How about we escort you to the territory? Just... As oh, to is. that settlement? Yes, sir. Why, you are welcome to. I would glad to have the company. All right. He, no, uh, he walks back up, climbs back up on it. He's uh, probably in his uh, 40s, um, mid-40s maybe. Uh, like I said, long hair, beard and mustache, uh, glasses. Uh, <laughs> do what? <laughs> Shut up. I'll just ride alongside um, him. It's, it's slow going um, because he's in, a, he's in this little cart, this little wagon. Um, and he makes conversation with you. Most of it's about God, and um, he talks a little bit about the territory, things he's heard about uh, the Indians, the savages, and the war they're fighting on America. Um, he's obviously very. Uh, it does it, uh, over the course of talking to him for the next couple hours. Um, uh, it, he does come across as racist, obviously, uh, misogynistic. Women have their place. It's in the kitchen. You know, I mean, that's what he is. Um, he's I do very minimal <laughs> talking with him. That's fine. Um, he's not Catholic. No, he's a minister. He's not a Catholic priest. Uh, he, uh, if you if you mention Catholicism, he's like uh, probably Lutheran. Uh, I think Lutheran like priest said the, the collar. Yeah. Any minister can no. slap a collar on. So uh, anyway, so, so I don't think he's a priest. Uh, he's a Dracula. It's How could a Dracula be around in broad daylight? An anti-Dracula. Oh, friend, friend. He freezes at night. <laughs> oh, uh, you make me another, make me another psychology check there, you are. Right. Anybody else that has it can go ahead and make me a psychology check. You're spending two hours in the sky as you talk, as you ride and talk. Uh, you might be able to pick up some more. Uh, it's a regular. One hundred. Regular success. Yeah. Uh, 
you're, you get this impression that he's like judging everybody as he talks to you. People will say things and he'll be like, and then he'll continue the conversation and just have a look in his face. He's like, shit. He does oh, shit. Oh, the white face. Oh, that's what you are. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you believe. <laughs> like, ah, like if I'm ever like, you know, they're not all savages. Of course not. Of course not. They could find their way to God. and then, But he's immediately back into his whole like preacher-esque thing. Um, so he obviously is judging all of you and, and everything that you say. Um, yes? Um... He, you do find out he's going to visit this settlement for about a week. That's his plan. And then move on and head back east. Okay. Uh, he does know about the, uh, the, the, uh, the Missouri River is where the Indian Territory is. And though he would love to preach to the savages, he does not feel that it is what God wants of him. And he also doesn't have enough guns. So, um, you start passing like cultivated fields of soy, uh, soybeans, wheat, corn. There are scattered homesteads in this area. Um, they appear to be small squat buildings uh, made of sod, like sod piled up for the walls uh, and that kind of thing, like really crude, crude little little, little structures. Uh, and you finally um, spot smoke coming up ahead in, in a little bit greater numbers, and you see a tiny settlement of about a dozen structures uh, coming up as you, as you continue on. It looks like uh, they're simple and dumpy looking. Um, they're all a single story tall at most. Um, and as you approach, you see that two of the buildings on this side that you're approaching, one, uh, they're in ruins. One appears to have been burned down, and the other one's just kind of collapsed on itself. Um, although it looks like the other buildings aren't much better. They have dirt walls, sod walls, and roofs. Um, there's a few, very few trees, and surrounding the settlement are fields of wheat and corn and soybeans. They come right up to the edge of this little settlement. Uh, which is here. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm going to fold over the thing at the bottom real quick. There's no sign or anything to tell you the name of the settlement. Uh, if it has a name. But here is kind of the settlement. You guys are coming from this way. Here's the two destroyed uh, buildings. Um, these dots are oh, like this little fence kind of area. Cat um, No, no. Um, you guys want to okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a fenced-in area that you can see over there, but you can't make that out uh, from where, as you just enter town. Yes. Um, it looks like there are only two, as you ride in to town, you see a few people around, they stop and they look at you. Uh, they probably don't get many vis- visitors out here. Uh, kids, a lot of kids, some people working. Um, you can see towards the center there are two signs. One says Gab General Store. Uh, that's on Area 7, which I believe is that biggest, that bigger building. That one. And it is a sod. There's a tree growing right next to it. Uh, another soddy. And then number nine, area nine, uh, has a sign that says Crescent Springs Tavern. That's ominous. Um, some of these buildings have actual, like, it looks like somebody's taken the windows out of a house, like the whole frame of the window, and set it into where they put sod around it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, this, yeah, there you go. Um, almost every chimney has smoke coming out of it. A little bit, little, at least a little trickle of smoke. You hear clang, clang, clang coming from here. And you see more smoke is coming from this building in the back, which is open. You can see a man working. Cling, cling. Uh, it's obviously the blacksmith of some kind. Um, there you go. What do you want to do? I'll go to the tavern. Okay. I'm surprised they even have a tavern. James Brown, what do you want to do? Meander. Okay. There's no place. There's no place to tie your horses up. Like out in front of buildings, usually there's those. Um, what the fuck are they called? You know what they're called? Yeah, they're just like a bulwark. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, hitching post. There's no hitching post in this town that you can see at all. Uh, so I don't know what you do about that. Um, the Reverend. I just walk with your horse. My horse is there. He'll listen. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's why you got the smart I have a really smart the, the Reverend, you you dismount and start to walk. Do you, what do you want to do with your smart Oh, you say, stay there. Is that what you say? Yeah, it does. He goes, <laughs> he actually nods at you. And he starts, like, Clans. clopping, clopping, like, chewing up some of the grass that's there. And as you walk towards the Crescent Springs Tavern, the Reverend says, ah, I could stand to whip my whistle as well. And he climbs down and comes after you. 
You want to meander? Put that five dollars to you. <laughs> you know, like, uh, yeah, you probably just, gave him uh, five one dollar. Uh, you probably gave him a five dollar gold, uh, uh, five one dollar coins. What, you, what, you, what did you want to do, Jay Brown? Just kind of ride down and then like just look around. And okay, I'll let you know what you see. Yuri, what what about you? I guess I'll go up the tavern. Okay, so the three, you two and the Reverend go into the tavern. Uh, that is leaving Jack West alone. Uh-oh. Excellent. Um, <laughs> earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. <laughs> All right. What you got is, um, this is a dim little hat, little room. You know, there's not many windows. You can smell soil. It smells like dirt. Uh, the ground, the floor is dirt as well. Uh, it looks like even the roof has boards and then sod has been put over, over top of it. Um, these are rough little houses, but you've seen, like I said, a dozen trees maybe today. Since you left that other group back there, um, there is a uh, there is a, a, a rough bar which is a couple of probably empty barrels with some boards over the top. There are some rough chairs and seats. It looks like the back of the building there's an alcove uh, that's been curtained off, and that's probably where he lives. And um, there there is a gentleman there who seems somewhat surprised to see you. Um, uh, she's like. Oh. Strangers? Well, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, we don't get many strangers around here. Come on in. <laughs> That's well, what his face looks like. That's what he looks like. He's a young guy. He's maybe in his mid twenties. Um, he uh, he says, well, uh, well, 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 come on, come on in, come on in, come on in. You're the first people we see in a long time around here. Uh, what you what you want? What you need? What kind of whiskey you got this far north? Well, uh, well, he, uh, he, he's got a few bottles behind the bar. Just like three bottles. Yeah, there's three bottles. They're not labeled. Uh, <laughs> he's got, we got, we got <laughs> this. We also got some homegrown. There's a couple bottles uh, with white liquid in them. Do not sure what that is. Oh God. Um, white we don't have beer. I apologize. It doesn't keep long enough for it to get drunk. So, and I can also whip up some food for you, some corn mash or something. If you're you're hungry, uh, you the drinks are a uh, penny and uh, another penny for your lunch. You say homegrown whiskey? Yeah, that's what your guess is. Oh, you so said homegrown, and yeah. you pointed to these other rough-looking bottles that don't match, like four, or five more of them than the whiskey bottles, and they're just full of a white liquid. So. Oh, okay. The, the white liquid's the homegrown. Yeah, the white liquid's the homegrown. The brown is is some kind of purchased whiskey of some kind, but it apparently. What's the base for your homegrown? What? Well, yeah, there's corn mostly. Yeah, they, there's a. Uh, 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 he he's he says. Um, oh shit! Uh, who makes this beer? Who makes this whiskey? Somebody in town. He he rattles off a name. Um, he rattles off a name. I'll tell it to you later when I find it on this list of people who live in this town. Uh, you can flip over the bottom of that now that you know the name of the town. Uh, oh. The town, oh god. Yeah, you can flip. You haven't learned the guy's name yet. Murder uh, Bill. Murder Bill. <laughs> I knew it. Murder Bill. Murder Bill. Uh, <laughs> couple, drink the whiskey and you die. Yeah, did you want whiskey? He put he pulled the whiskey out and put it on the bar. He's got some glasses. None of them match. Uh, but each of them will obviously hold whiskey. Yeah, I'll give uh, I'll give him a nickel for the home. Though. This is the only place okay, I can yeah. get it. All right. Oh, it's a dime for the whole bottle. Okay, well, he puts the whole bottle on the table. Yeah, I think this one. Okay. Let's see what's up. I'll let you drink it first. Um, no. You took the homegrown. Yeah, that's uh, moonshine. It's corn. That's my it's, finger. It, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's very I, strong. I pour it like it would be a, a, an amount of whiskey. So a couple fingers. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably, it's like Everclear's, basically. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's uh, pretty strong Ooh. stuff. Ha! Oh, I might not have needed to buy the whole lot of them. <laughs> oh, I get you changed back. That's fine, no. Oh, fair enough, keep fair it. enough, fair enough. We're Marshall, keep... Federal Marshal doing here. Mm, oh, business. We're business. not really important enough for a Federal Marshal. Everyone's important enough for a Federal Marshal. Well, it's kind of you to say. It's kind of you to say. Is that, is that coin worthy? No, probably not. Everybody? I so. yeah. I'll give it a coin for everybody. I like it. Um, it's for the enjoyment. It's for the people. It doesn't have to be funny. It just has to be cool. Oh, okay. Um, Wait, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. 
Mine are only funny corns. Uh, the Reverend will take some of the corn whiskey as well. No he'll, he'll pop a penny on the, on the I counter. don't need pasta. There's no oh. way I can drink all this myself. You are certainly a man of God. How much do you pour him? I get the same amount of ice. <laughs> Probably a couple fingers is what you would yeah. take and, and down it. Um, uh, let's see how he handles it. We'll give him a roll. Oh, he's had this before. Uh, no, oh, shit. He just made it. Um, yeah, he's just like, whew. Ah. I smell, I smell the piety in this, this drink. I feel the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I feel it. He's warm. Uh, I mean, I've got some of that in my bag if I actually wanted it. You have some of it? I had, I think I had somebody who did the liquor. Bottle, like, rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Jesus. You don't, so fuck, you don't want to drink rubbing alcohol. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. Okay. Are you thinking That's an ethanol. No, ethanol is, no, I ethanol is not drinkable. You, you're not supposed to drink it yet. Right, because it's no. corn. It's made of milk. No, made of wood. Right? Well, isn't that the made out of corn? Is it? Okay. But What's it's, the other it's one? It's too pure. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, so the Lloyd? <laughs> gotta water it down some. Cool, so? Uh, yeah, uh, the gentleman grabs no, the glass. He puts it in the glass, glass in front of the I've got it. I didn't know if your character made the joke. No, yeah. Did he? Yeah. Okay. They just look at you like, what the hell's wrong no, with you? No, no, no. You don't, you don't <laughs> drink that. You drink this. I don't drink that. You don't drink. No, no, no. I point to what you point. You don't drink that. <laughs> I don't drink either. Ah, here we go. Tucker. Oh, he. Okay. No, he says he makes it himself. Sorry. Oh, nice. He makes the corn whiskey himself. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to drink for Stalloid. Thanks a lot, Stalloid. <laughs> make me come check. Yeah. We'll just see how bad it is. If you make the check, you don't have to make any noise when it goes down. Oh, it's oh, worse. The second one's worse than the first, though. Oh no, no, no! We did not make the check. It's okay, so oh, it's rough. Whew. Yeah, it is roughly one distilled corn whiskey. Might be dangerous if you drink too much. You can feel it already. You're like, ooh. Might, might even be dangerous if you don't drink any. <laughs> It'll kill. You could probably dump that on your wounds and be fine. Um, <laughs> y'all want anything to eat? What do you got? Well, mostly just corn mash. Uh, I can fry some up for you. <coughs> you got any meat? Uh, I can rustle some up. Yeah. Uh, dime? Yeah. But that's the whole chicken. I mean, that'll cover all of you. A dime. If that's all. Yeah. All right, all right. He leaves. He basically leaves the building. Um, yeah, he goes out the back door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you will hear that shortly. No, no, no. Fuck you. Who did it? Who please? No. Okay. Um, so, uh, you guys are alone in this building. Um <laughs> Like I said, there is a there is a sectioned off portion in the back, off to one side. Uh, there's this bar. There's a few ta- rough tables and chairs. None of them match. Oh, uh, oh, what's your heart, baby? So um, there's a few mismatched tables and chairs. Otherwise, that's all that's in this place. Um, he comes back in a little while, and he's got a fucking dead chicken. He chopped the head off of it, and he heads back in. He's gonna have to pluck it and cook it. So it's gonna be about an hour, probably for you. Meal. They gonna pay enough for it. Oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate. it. Well, your first person we had in you, a while. You probably gotta go pretty far to get that. Uh, you didn't even poop poop. What am I trying to say? You can Re- old replace. I gotta go pretty far to get that replaced, though, don't you? Well, we got some people around town that bring up chicken, so so uh, and lots of eggs. Mm. Lots of eggs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come home with me. He's got a few eggs too. Um, so he gets to work cooking for you, Jack Wester. You're wandering around town, so um. I think most of these I've listed what they are. Uh, Twelve is obviously um, stables. They have the big barn. There's a shed, big corral. Um, uh, the ones that just say house are obviously they don't have a sign or anything on the front. Um, this is uh, this is the Crescent Street Sound where they are. This is a general store here. Oh. These are all just houses. Uh, Eight mm-hmm. thirteen says house. Yep. Um, so most of these look like houses. This is a wooden building that um, is all shuttered up and the front door is closed, but it's a small building. It looks smaller than all the other houses, but it's distinctively made of wood, which is different from everyone. Everything else is sod. Everything is made of sod. Right. Even that sod? Just like sod is that terrible. fucking, you cut off the grass from your yard and you pull it up and you've got like this flat oh, dirt oh, with yeah, grass on top. Nice now what nice. these people have done is they've done a bunch of these, cut them like this, Pile them up as walls. They're Saudis were... Winter. Yes. It will hold the heat in and keep the cold out. Um, and if you don't have any trees, which you've seen, what? A, a dozen, couple of trees. Half dozen trees in the whole town. And you have not seen any trees on the plains of South Dakota, of the Dakotas. 
then this is their building material. Yeah. So this building made of wood is unique. Yeah. Otherwise, um, it, it just it's a little one story, just a nothing little building. Um, that's the only thing that stands out as different. Some of the houses have uh, gardens. Uh, the fields come up right close to the town on every side. Mm-hmm. In the distance, you can see some other sod houses. Obviously, farms. Um, this area here, as you kind of ride around this way, that looks like a cemetery. Oh. There's a lot of headstones. Like 50 or 60 headstones. It seems excessive um, for a town this size. Wander on in. To the cemetery? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cemetery. There's a wooden fence, very sturdily built. Uh, a small sign says Crescent Springs Cemetery. It's on one side. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't know. You didn't say Crescent. That's what yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Crescent like, Springs. That's how ominous. Yeah. Um, well, 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 well. They're, they're they're all the two zones are wow, wood. Um, there's like 50 of them or so. Um, they're very pretty closely packed graves in this area. Um, there you go. So, that's, just, that, that's a glance. You could tie your horse up to the to the fence and you can wander in if you want. Uh, I don't know if you want to do a specific examination or check them out or what. Or wander around the... Yes. the, the I, I want to actually look to see if these are labeled. Uh, yes. Um, some of them have... Uh, um, there's a surprising variety of names. A lot of just different names. Um, a lot of them just have... Um, are marked with the, the dates of death, not the dates of birth. Um, it, it, uh, how long do you want? I mean, do you want to do a do you want to stay yeah, an hour? No, like this, really check this, this place out? Has confused me. Oh yes. Yeah. So you're gonna be there for the next. That many you'll be there for the next hour. You're like death date, death date. There's a birth date. <laughs> That's this name. These names are all different. You know. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna be doing that, and I'll give you some information on what you figure out on that. Um, Kyle, he's plucked your chicken. You can smell it frying. Mm. Or plucked it, gutted it. You see him come out with some guts. He takes them out back and disappears for a while. And he comes back in. He's like, and he brings his hands off and he goes back to work as your chicken's frying. Um, you smell corn mash. He's obviously frying up some corn mash for you too. Um, it, does, it smells really good. Um, you don't see any like salt and sh- pepper shakers anywhere. Uh, you're guessing salt's probably pretty expensive in this spot. Uh, and eventually he brings it out. He's got uh, this chicken that he's chopped up and fried. He's put it in some flour and fried it up. He's got some corn mash on the side. He's got some plates for you guys. Sets out for all three of you. There's a there's a lot of fucking food here. It's actually. corn flour too. Everything's yeah, it's probably like it's corn flour. Everything is corn, wheat, or soy, pretty much. That it, it, and he's uh, he's got a uh, he's got a, a little salt cellar. Uh, for you, it opens up at the top. You can take a little salt out, put on Ooh. if you want. It's it, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, and did you just sit at the bar, or did you guys want to take one of these cha- these tables? I sat at the bar. Just okay, yeah, the bar, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just asking. So, yep, he's got he brings you plates, puts them all down. He says that's most of the chicken. If you're still hungry, I still got some in the back. Yeah, it would be good. This would be enough. It's good. It tastes really good. It's a little bland. You use a little bit of the salt on it, and that helps. Um, but otherwise, it, it, it tastes good. So why is this uh, called Crescent Springs? Well, that's what we call when we got here. We found these springs, mm-hmm. and they were in like a crescent shape. Like Where are those at? Well, they're scattered throughout the town. Oh. There's several, they were natural springs. They were stopped, that's why we stopped here. Uh, well, three years ago. We came here three years ago, 1873. Um, we were from Illinois. On the February town is from a little town in Illinois. You probably haven't heard of it. It's called... Uh, I have to look this up. Hold on. It's called um, Dayton, Dayton, Illinois. No, yeah. I know it's a little town. We, well, no, no, it's, this is Dayton, Illinois, and we decided uh, a lot of us there was a, a lot of the jobs got thrown out there, and just things were going bad. So, uh, 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 so several of us came west. We decided we, we came to Dakota. We we purchased our land. I got men working my land because I'm here, uh, and of course, Gab next door kind of gestures kind of vaguely off to one side and says. He's running the general store, and he's got men working his land for the most part. But uh, sometimes we got some of the men come in here, and I feed them, give them some food, and they like the they like the whiskey. And I, well, the corn whiskey isn't as good as as the other whiskey, obviously. But I make it myself in the back. So, um, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. The creeps in a crescent shape. Oh, I'm, I'm, no springs, natural springs, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Fun fact. So they're just around town? Are you getting drunk? I can, yeah. I can uh... Yeah. I can, it is key, will it I'll be able to find them? Yeah, they're artesian whales. You know that the springs yeah. that come up out of the ground by themselves. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rex Tucker, I'm Rex Tucker. By the way. Clayton Pierce. Oh. Mr. Pierce? Or, sorry, Marshall Pierce. Flip his thing? Yes, you can flip his name now. He's Rex, he's Rex Tucker. Yeah, you can stay here if you want. Um, I'm going to have to charge you 50 cents a night, and you can only have the floor. Uh, that's, that's about as nice as you're going to get in town unless you sleep, uh, stay with some of, the, some of the residents, which they might give you a bed or something. I don't have any extra beds. I don't have a bed. I sleep on the floor. But you can stay if you want. Um, what you doing this far west? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we're, uh, we're looking for a, a Romani woman. Yeah. A Romani? What's uh, a woman? gypsy? Oh. Okay. Ain't seen no gypsies. They got, like, bells and stuff? Mm, I don't think she does. Oh. Uh, make me intelligence check, huh? <laughs> Now? To make to come to the realization you really yeah, drinking too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. You you realize you're getting really trashed on this alcohol. You can, you can keep doing it if you want. This seems like a pretty innocuous town. It's probably not very dangerous, but um, you you're the under realization you're like, I am fucked up. You know when you hit that drunk stage, you're like, oh fuck. I didn't realize how fucked up I am. Oh yeah. So Clayton realizes it. He can keep getting fucked up uh, if he wants, but he realizes it. Are there any, uh, on the other side of the river in the Indian Territory, um, tribes y'all know of that are still friendly with oh, the... I doubt it. You doubt it? The Sioux. Well, there's all them wars. You heard about no, it. No, we, we, we had a rider come through here uh, two weeks ago. What? Uh, and he, he was... What, what? I don't know. He brought some mail. And uh, and he said, Custer got murdered out there. Uh, Colorado? Montana? Killed in the line of duty. He got murdered. They ambushed him. They killed him all. All of his men. Everybody's dead. Yeah, I want a fair fight. We're we're worried. We're very worried about the Sioux. We they could cross the Missouri. I mean, it is pretty far. From, we're about, we're five or six miles from from the Missouri. But they come in here and kill us all. Kill us all. I wouldn't be right. We're nervous. I wouldn't be right. Yeah, we're too close. I think we're too close. You need, I don't know. You need a marshal here. Well, I don't know about that. I know that. If you folks are fear for your safety from the Sioux, I wouldn't stick around. I ain't scared of no Sioux. You scared of some Sioux? God will protect us. <laughs> well, well, I suppose so. <laughs> Is there a place, my friend, where I could set up my tent to preach the word of God to you wonderful Christians? Um, yeah, yeah, just west of town if you want. Or east of town, just outside, as long as you don't uh, meddle with any of the crops. Um, I don't think anybody mind. There's plenty of places by the side of the road. How big is your tent? Why, it's 30 feet. In diameter. Oh, that's a big tent. That's but yeah, you should, you should, there's, there's room along the side of the track. It doesn't really go very far to the west except to a couple of farms. Uh, but yeah, you can set there up or you can go east if you'd rather. It's more comfortable. You, any, anything you wish there, uh, Miss, Mr. Man, Mr. Preacher Man. Reverend Jasper Ornery. Reverend Jasper Ornery. I will be, of course, conducting a service tonight at dusk and a service every day for those who wish to attend. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that, that sounds nice. Okay, so they've had their little conversation. James Brown. Yo. All right. So, there are only six uh, tombstones, uh, markers, whatever. They're all wood, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, seven that have birth dates and death dates. The rest have only death dates on them. All the death dates take place between 1874 and 1876, which is this year. Uh, the most recent is about a month ago. Nice. Uh, and that's just a death date. Uh, I don't know. Do you want the names on the... I'll just get some names of recent. Uh, do you want ones with just death, ones with, with just, both? Oh, well, actually, yeah. Let, let's find out the both ones. Cause, okay. So the both, both ones, ones are people in town. The deaths are visitors. That, uh, that, that's that could be, yeah, that, that makes assumed. sense. Uh, the, the both, you ready? Yep. I'll give you the names and the dates. Melba Johnson. Melba. Uh, July 8, or 7, 1836 to 1, 1875. Mm-hmm. Donald Brook. 3, 1860 to 5, 1874. 
If I'm going too fast on any of these, let me know. I'll